course, the Edmonton Oilers will be in action on Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. Tyson Berry joins us from the uh, Edmonton Oilers, a three-year, $13.5 million deal in the hip pocket. Before we talk about hockey, just on the break, uh, having a look around the room that you're in, I saw a dog, a bench, and a bike. Where are you right now, Tyson Berry? Uh, I've, I've completely lost audio with you guys. I can't hear you. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Barely. Okay, I'll, I'll stop whispering. Uh, Tyson Berry, first of all, congratulations on the deal. Uh, Three-year contract. What was more important to you this time around? Was it money or was it term? Uh, I think a bit of both. I uh, I definitely wanted to stay in Edmonton, and um, I think you know trying to find the right mix of you know a little bit of security and, and the right number, and and trying to fit in with what they have going on there. And I'm pretty excited to to have that done and, and know where I'm going to be for the next three years. Um, you know, when we when we look at your situation with Edmonton, you know, the default setting is, well, he gets to play with Connor McDavid, and that's certainly a magnet. Um, but I'm guessing there's more than just, I get to play with Connor McDavid that made you make this choice to stay with the Edmonton Oilers, correct? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, it's, uh, I think, you know, I think we have a pretty good team, and there's a lot of expectations on us, and um, we fell a bit short of that last year, and um, for me, it's, it's a team that's uh, as close as anybody to winning and, um, you know, getting a chance to, to have a D partner like Nursey and, um, you know, Leon and Nuge. And it's just such a good core of guys. And I'm really excited to uh, to be a part of that. And it's uh, there's a lot that goes into it. But for me, it was just a, a great core and a good uh, situation and a good fit for myself. Uh, I'm going to ask you to betray a secret here. Uh, what makes this Oilers power play work? Because when it's in flight, it's dynamic. What makes it go? Uh, I, I mean, I think it's, it's a bit of everything. We, we try not to overcomplicate it and we keep it simple. And then there's so much skill that, you know, you, you make your plays off your rebounds and, um, second opportunities. And, you know, you have Connor and Leon and they kind of, you know, they control the, they control the pace of it. And, um, they're pretty unpredictable. So, um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. And, you know, you just try to make the right plays and get these guys in good positions to make their plays and um you know when they're when they're moving and, and staying in motion it's uh it, it's got to be a bit of a nightmare to try and stop uh, tyson as we all know trades are a reality of uh, of any sport really and for this conversation hockey obviously um tough to lose ethan baird do you have a thought on a uh, a former right side defenseman for the oilers who's now a member of the hurricanes yeah um you know that's uh, it is it's a tough part of the business i've been on that side of it before and um, it's tough when you're, you know, you're drafted by an organization and, and it's what you know and um, you, you switch teams and I did that with Toronto. So, um, you know, we love Bearsy and he's a great player and he's going to fit in well in Carolina. And, you know, we we lost Lars too to, to Seattle. So um, a lot of changes this year, but, uh, you know, it, it is the, uh, it's the tough side of the business, but um, I think it's a good opportunity for, for Bearsy and, and, and Lars. How much do you know about Warren Fogle who comes in as, as compensation for Ethan Bear? I uh, don't know a ton about him. We didn't get to see him a ton, but um, when I was in Toronto, we played him a few times, and um, he seems like a great pickup for us. He's going to be a great uh, great addition to that forward crew, and um, he seems like a bigger body and um, you know has a nose for the net, so excited to, uh, to meet him and, and get on the ice with him. Okay, so you're a really unique player in the NHL in that you've shared the ice with Nathan McKinnon, Austin Matthews, and Connor McDavid. How would you describe your experiences with all three? Uh, different. They're all different personalities, different skill sets, the whole thing. But, um, you know, they all have some similarities and it's, uh, it's definitely the, the will to be the best and, and how hard they work and, and how, uh, seriously they take uh, their preparation and, um, you know, their passion for the game. So, I mean, you guys see them play all the time and, you know, I don't think I need to explain, you know, what, what makes them, uh, each, each individually great, but, um, there's some similarities and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's great that I've had a chance to play with them all and, and feel very fortunate to be, uh, you know, teammates and, and buddies with these guys. It's a, it's a real luxury. Uh, I want to end on this one. Uh, hanging out much with Wesley Schultz of the Lumineers these days. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's a good buddy of mine. He's just down the road, so um, get to see him quite a bit. Listen, uh, congratulations again on the deal. Uh, wish you all the best with the Edmund Tollers next season on the power play in five on five. Thanks so much for doing this, Tyson. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. There he is, Tyson Berry of the uh, Edmonton Oilers. Three-year, $13.5 million contract with the Oilers.